So today we're going to be looking at the EK Coolstream SE. Now this is a slim 360 radiator. And we've got the Lee and Lee 0011 Dynamic. Now I couldn't see a video on the internet showing how much room there is at the back here for, for the radiator. Now the reason I want it to go uh, behind the chamber is if I put it on the other side I'm then going to foul up with the top radiator being the the PE 360. So I would like to put it on this side now. I did see online about other people having problems. I just want to show you how tight this is. Now I've taken out the uh, power cable tidy thing. And if we look this side, we can't get the, f the radiator to go over enough so that the holes match up. So it's fouling on those cables there. Okay, so I've unscrewed the front um, USB connectors and um, now we have more room for the radiator which will actually fit properly. Now what I'm thinking I could do is before it was in this way, I'm thinking if I rotate these USBs around, that should give us a little bit more room. Okay, so a little bit of modification. I had to slice carefully around the glue that was holding these uh, USB frees into these little sort of holders. And my plan is just to rotate them around, see if that gets them out of the way of the, of the radiator. All right, so even with changing the cables around, so the USBs are now the opposite way around, uh, they seem to fit in the holes the same. Try to get them to focus. I think I will need to put just a dab of hot glue on this side, up in here, just to make sure that doesn't move when I put the USB in. So another thing I've noticed is this little rivet here when I put the radiator on, I don't have enough clearance. It gets caught on this and won't go flush against this bit. So how I got around that is there's a little flap up here, this one, and I've bent that upwards. And it seems to fit in there nice and flush now. So, All right, so I've gone ahead and put some fans on there. These are just some Corsair HD RGB things um, now. This might not stay in this configuration. I'm not sure yet, but I wanted to I wanted to check that if I had a, a 360 radiator at the, the, the side here, I wanted to make sure that I would still be able to get a, a decent sized radiator up here in the top. Um, obviously we've got our inlet and outlet up here. Again, I should have enough to come out maybe and down or out and down the pump is going to go somewhere in here, maybe on a on a stand, maybe up here, oh, I don't know yet, so probably probably around there. So Again, I'm going to have some intake fans at the bottom, but it's very close to this radiator, so uh, if you, sh you might want to get something a bit smaller, but it only just fits. I'll just turn it around so you can see the back. Okay, so around the back here, you can see where we've uh, put the USBs going around the other way, kind of. And again, I might have to take this out because I might have to put a bit of hot glue or something just to stop these from moving around. And again, there was a little rivet down here that meant when I actually got the radiator in, it wouldn't go flush down the bottom. Now to get around that, there's a little flap up there I just bent that upwards so the radiator could go sort of up a tiny bit and, and, and in. So I've still got all of the rest of this to go in yet. Still got to wait for my fittings to arrive. Uh, we've got some PETG tube in here. Then we've got our EK pump and res combo here. And again, that's just going to fit in somewhere around there. We've got our vertical GPU mount there. And then the uh, graphics card sort of going that way. And then probably have some more intake fans at the bottom. 
and then a, another 360 radiator at the top here with exhaust so again if you're interested have a look at some of my other videos which I might make might not yet and um, yeah so that's that's the radiator just fitting by millimeters and again you have to edit the um, front panel if you want to put one in there again I couldn't put it in this front part of the chamber because if I did I would only be able to have a 240 up the top here maybe a I don't know a thicker 240 but I kind of wanted a, a 360 coming all the way down to probably probably what about here so I don't have to go for another slim one uh, that's, I don't know I might get a bit more height or we'll go for uh, maybe the middle range one, the thicker PE one with some with some fans and again I've got these static pressure fans to go at the top there so thanks for watching, hopefully that helped, goodbye